Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on thyroid storm. Definition of thyroid storm, it is a life-threatening form of severe thyrotoxicosis with systemic decompensation. Mortality rate is 10 to 30 percent even with treatment. And its key feature is hypermetabolic crisis due to excess T3 and T4. It occurs due to a sudden massive increase in thyroid hormone activity. Increased beta-adrenergic receptor sensitivity and hypercatabolic state, causing multi-organ dysfunction. Common triggers include infection which is the most common, surgery or trauma, parturition, amiodarone or iodinated contrast, abrupt stop of antithyroid meds, and other causes like DICA, PE, CVA, or myocardial infarction. For clinical features, central nervous system may have agitation, delirium, seizure or coma. Cardiovascular system may have tachycardia, AF, heart failure or hypotension. GI system, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. Metabolic symptoms like fever and weight loss. Warm and moist skin and sweating. Thyroid storm is a clinical diagnosis. Lab results will show high T3 and T4, and a low TSH level. We can also use scoring systems to validate our diagnosis, such as birch wartowski point scale. This is a picture of the scale. It consists of temperature, CNS effects, gastrointestinal symptoms, cardiovascular symptoms, heart failure, and precipitant history. Management goals are to block peripheral effects of thyroid hormone, stop hormone synthesis and release, inhibit T4 to T3 conversion, treat underlying trigger, and supportive care. For stepwise management, beta blocker such as propanolol and esmolol to inhibit conversion of T4 to T3. Antithyroid drug like propylthiouracil or methimazole. Iodine, which is given at least one hour after PTU, to prevent iodine being used as substrate for new hormone synthesis. And IV hydrocortisone. The wolf chikoff effect is a protective autoregulatory mechanism in the thyroid gland that temporarily shuts down thyroid hormone synthesis when exposed to a large amount of iodine. After given Lugol's iodine, the thyroid gland reduces iodine organification and inhibits T3 and T4 synthesis. This occurs within hours of high iodine exposure, and typically lasts two to three days. It is important to give Lugol's iodine one hour after PTU. Do not give iodine first, as this could worsen thyrotoxicosis via the jode based dow phenomenon. There are some special considerations. For atrial fibrillation in thyroid storm, avoid amiodarone. Use beta blockers or diltiazem if beta blocker is contraindicated. For thyroid storm in pregnancy, Use PTU in first trimester, methimazole in second and third, and close fetal monitoring. For prognosis of thyroid storm, mortality is up to 30%. Early recognition and aggressive treatment will improve the outcome. ICU level care is required. Some take home points. Always consider thyroid storm in hyperthyroid patients with decompensation. It is a clinical diagnosis, don't wait for lab results. Manage with a stepwise approach. Amiodarone can both trigger and worsen thyroid storm and due to its high mortality, act fast. That's all for this video. Thank you.